Hey there guys, so a lot of you have been requesting to uh, show you my sterilization process and how I clean my things. So we're just going to jump right into that today. So here are the products that I use. When I am sanitizing my desk, I just spritz everything down with this. My pedicure bowl, my pedicure chair, my manicure table. And I even clean my house with this. I love this stuff. It's like a must have um, now for home and salon. Uh, I used to use this in a spritz bottle to clean, but I really like the smell of this. It just smells uh, fresh and not so chemically. Um, so I have a little mason jar right here labeled with disinfectant. And as I'm working on my clients, I just, um, when I'm done, stick everything in here. So, that once I am fully complete, I put all the dirty implements into this drawer, and this is what I'll take to my sink, wash with hot water and soap, and then I will fill up this container, which is my ultrasonic cleanser or cleaner, and what this does uh, is basically like a jewelry cleaner. This thing is amazing. I stick my implements down in there. Once I have washed them with soap and water, and it will vibrate so much extra gunk out of my implements that I was unable to reach with my manicure brush. So I leave them in here for 10 minutes as suggested by the manufacturer's um, suggestions on here for your implements and then I'll rinse them off. And once I rinse them off, then they all go into my sterilizer where I cook them for about 20 minutes and this is what I got off of Amazon, and I got this off of eBay, I believe. You can probably find an ultrasonic cleaner off of Amazon as well. Um, this barbicide you can find at your local Sally's or even online. And then once my implements have completed their sterilization process, I'll stick them inside of my sanitation bags. And just for convenience, I have this distilled water jug already pre-mixed with my barbicide, so I can just fill this up and fill my container up at the end of every day as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I clean everything. So let's grab the dirty implements that I do have, and we're just going to head on over to the sink and get started. Okay, so we are just going to get our manicure brush soft and wet with our antibacterial soap. We start washing away our implements. You want to try to wash these as best as you can, giving them a good scrub with warm or hot soapy water and then laying them over on the side to dry. And then once you have completed washing all of your implements with your hot soapy water, you can then take your manicure brush and you can soak that in your disinfectant to also uh, sterilize it. So I'm now going to stick all of my clean implements or my washed implements into my little tray and we're going to take this back into the salon and we're going to stick them inside of the disinfectant. Okay, now that we are back into the salon room, all we're going to do is just open this container. I go ahead and pour my pre-made disinfectant into it. And I'm going to lay my implements down 
into my disinfectant. When you are putting your implements down into your disinfectant, you do want to make sure that everything is covered. You want to make sure that they are completely immersed in that disinfectant or the product is not going to do its job properly. So, as you can see, this one is still sticking up and a little bit of my pusher is as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up as far as I can to immerse those completely. Perfect, okay, and then I'm going to take my manicure brush that I used to clean my implements with, and I'm just gonna stick that down into my disinfectant and let that do its job as well. So we are going to Go ahead and get this plugged in. Whoop, I'm making a mess, you guys. And let it do its job. So I'm just gonna walk on over here and plug this in and I'll show you guys in just a second. Okay, now that I have got that plugged in, I'm just gonna press this 50 watt to give it maximum power and then I'm gonna press it again all the way up until I reach 10 minutes. My little sticker thing came off. I need to like glue that down. Okay, and, and this is gonna be loud. I'm gonna just press this button. as it's working and doing its job. I'll also stick my manicure bits in here, my, um, not my manicure bits, but my drill bits in here so that they can be cleaned as well. So we're just gonna let that run for 10 minutes and I will meet you guys back. So while my implements are cleaning, I'm gonna show you guys how I disinfect and sanitize my um, files and buffers and things like that, stuff that cannot be soaked in the disinfectant. So I will just lay a towel down and I will take a new clean manicure brush and any files that I had used during a service. I will simply take my manicure brush and dust all the dust off. Once I have dusted them, I'll take my disinfectant, which I showed you guys previously that I pre-make and just give these a good spritz. Don't want to completely soak them. If you immerse them inside of your disinfectant, then the grit basically just starts peeling off of the files and it ruins them. And so for my buffers, I basically do the same thing for my sand turtles. I'll just brush the dust off, give them a good spritz, and let them sit here and air dry so that they are ready for the next service. Now these are ones that I use, um, typically the, the buffers like this, my long file shaped buffers, and my Beauty Secret nail files. These are the ones that I use during my nail enhancement services. When I'm doing my gel manicures or gel pedicures, I will use these uh, mini buffing blocks that can be taken apart like so. And once I'm done with this, I just toss it. And then for the nail files, I have back scratchers. These are removable um, grits. Well, you can disinfect the plastic piece simply by spraying it down as well. And then for all of my grits, I uh, will just use this. And you simply just choose the grit that you need, a 100, a 180, a 240. 240 is what I typically use on the natural nail, just because I can safely go back and forth in a sawing motion without tearing up someone's nail. And you just remove the backing to this. And apply it on your file like so. And then once you're done, you can just take it and peel it right off. So these are really nice, and they are a bit more pricey than another file, but these are something that I really do love. I love to have these. These are what I use for my manicures and pedicures. And for nail enhancement services, I'll use these. Okay guys, so we have about four minutes left on our disinfectant. So I'm gonna take you guys back over here to the sterilizer and show you how I package up my implements that have already been sterilized. 
Okay, so once my sterilization process is done, I will just open it up and you will take these two rings right here because this is a very, very hot machine. You just want to hook your rings on each side and you will pull your metal drawer right out. And these are the implements that I have already cleaned and sterilized. So I'm just gonna set that down. Okay, and then from here, I will take my sanitation pouches and with clean sanitized hands and or with gloves on, you will take your sanitized sanitation pouches and you're just going to stick your implements down in there, whichever ones you use for your services. Peel this tape off, go ahead and seal the package so that it is ready for your next service. So guys, that is how I sterilize, disinfect, clean my station and room and prepare it for all clients. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I will leave all the links to items featured down below. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching.